What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we are talking about summertime night fishing. The best baits, best techniques to go out right now at night and catch fish. Very few anglers actually go out and fish in the darkness. And um, with it being, I don't know, the hottest month of the year, the hottest time of the year, it is so much more um, comfortable to fish at night when it's cooler. And uh, believe it or not, the fish are active. You know, there's a, there's a whole different set of fish that feed at night versus feeding it, you know, a day early light. Um, and it can be overwhelming. I think that's probably why a lot of anglers don't get out and do it as much. Um, but today's video, we're talking about nighttime fishing during the summer. I mean, Matt and I, we've, we've, uh, we've night fished in the dead of winter. I mean, in the low teens, uh, completely froze our butt off, butts off, butts off, but caught double digit fish. Um, there is a whole other class of fish that like to feed at night, especially in the summertime. You know, you're battling with the, the high heat, the high water temps, which typically mean lower DO levels, uh, dissolved oxygen, oxygen levels in the water. So it's, you know, the fish are looking for that cooler water. They're trying to get oxygen. Uh, that's why they typically go deeper. Um, but at nighttime, when you get those air temps dropping, you get those water temps dropping, some of the best fishing of the entire year can be nighttime fishing. So today's video is going to give you some tips, um, some baits, and hopefully it's just some overall confidence to get out on your home body of water and change it up a little bit and try and do something that you might not have done. Hopefully get you comfortable with it, at least give you a little bit of advice to get comfortable with it and to hopefully teach you guys how to catch fish at night. So don't be overwhelmed or scared to go out on your fishery at night. Um, obviously you wanna be safe, right? Wanna make sure if you're on your boat, make sure you have your lights working, make sure that you have some kind of light. I do not leave home without some kind of light, especially night fishing. A headlamp I mean you have to have a headlamp you know you hook a big one at night you don't want to be running around looking for a flashlight or something to net it or uh, lip it whatever you need to do you just want to be able to reach up click that light on and click it off a uh, little tip for you guys use as little light as possible now it's hard to believe uh, as I'm saying it use as little light as possible the reason why I say that is because it spooks the fish, honestly. Uh, Matt and I, like I said, we've been fishing, night fishing for, I don't know, as long as I can remember, uh, fishing together. Uh, I mean, there's been nights where I've I've caught them and I've netted them, multiple double, double digit fish um, that just don't eat during the day. They're a different, uh, there's different fish. They feed at different times. Um, so like I said, that, that water temp's getting up there. Try going at night, but a light. Don't go out without the proper, proper safety equipment. Um, but other than that, don't be afraid to get out there. You know, have your light, have your headlamp, um, and fish your normal stuff, your normal baits, and your normal spots. You know, um, that's where I started off with. I started fishing my normal baits, that I caught them during the day, and I started fishing my normal spots, caught some fish, had some success, built my confidence to go try other things. Uh, what we found throughout the years is, like I said earlier, they're just different fish, so don't expect to catch um, the same fish that you've caught at night or that you've caught at day flipped. You know, if you go to a spot and you're blasting them there in the afternoon, and you go there at night, you might not catch them. Or you know, vice versa. You just find a spot or the spot at night, and uh, you go there during the day. They might not eat. They'll probably be there, but it's all a, a timing thing. And like I said, with the high temps, 
it's more comfortable comfortable for us more comfortable for the fish to, to get out there in that low uh, lower temperature and feed up so I have some baits for you and uh, some of these might go against the grain or against the the book on bass fishing you know if you go out and read the ba book on bass fishing everybody will tell you to go out and throw a you know a black and blue Colorado blade spinner bait or a black and blue jig or whatever um, and those will work but I've got a few other baits for you some few other colors and tips that hopefully will give you guys a little bit more um, more baits to work with so don't be afraid to get out there so hopefully this builds some confidence let's go through the baits then I'll kind of wrap up um, other gear you might need and uh, line reels all that sort of stuff but first thing headlamp more importantly a headlamp that has either a red or green light on it uh, you don't want to mess with your night vision uh, you ever been shined in the light at night and then all, you, you can't see for several seconds or a minute up you know make sure that you have some kind of headlamp I, I typically like a rechargeable one you know I'm terrible with batteries a rechargeable headlamp with either red or green that way it doesn't mess up with your night vision and again something that's easy click on and off you know, you set the hook, you get that fish coming to the boat, you click it on, you don't miss a, a handle turn, and you get that bit fish in the in the in the net, and uh, and and so on. So, headlamp, very very important. But now let's talk about baits. Typically, I always have these two baits tied on. Now, night fishing. I mean, there's there's so many different things to talk about on this on this topic and I don't want it to be you know too short or too long um, night fishing is just a different animal you as an angler that is when it's more important to be accurate with your casts uh, your reaction time when you get bit uh, just imagine bass fishing your favorite spot and then closing your eyes and just trying not being able to see and that that's kind of like night fishing those of you guys that are just getting into night fishing go out first few times go out on a full moon go out when there's a big light in the sky a lot of times it's almost as bright as daytime um, and try try that and then work your way into the new moon part of the month where it gets into total darkness uh, and that's when you can really catch some big ones but uh, baits Basically, without doing this video, whatever baits you're catching fish during the day will work at night. But what we've found through the years is there's a handful of baits that just work better. Handful of colors, a few colors that just work better. Um, yeah, so I always have a jig and some kind of worm. Almost all the time, it's going to be a curly tail worm. I want that ribbon tail. I want that movement down there. Uh, when I'm fishing a worm, it's either going to be Texas rigged or on a Magnum shaky head. I want contact with that bait at all times. Again, like I said, when those when there's no sun in the sky, uh, you're going everything by feel. You want to feel more connected with your bait, if that makes sense. So, uh, Texas rig pegged. I don't typically throw a Carolina rig. I, I want that that feel, that instant connectivity to my bait. I want to know what's going on. When your when your senses, when you can't visibly see as well, uh, you know, you just have to learn that feel and you want to be connected with that bait. So either a big magnum shaky head or a Texas rig, but it's almost always some kind of ribbon tail worm. This is the C Mac by Netbait. The Zoom, the old monster, one of any of your favorite summertime curly tail worms will work. And then a jig. And what we found, I mean, that's a jig with a, a no jack hook on there. What's cool about night fishing is you can get away with heavier tackle. So bigger rods, straight braid, a gaff of a hook, because the fish aren't gonna be as keyed in on you know the the little subtleties of your baits when you're fishing in the dark but um, what we found it's kind of weird uh, you always have to have both of these tied on you know Matt and I were talking about it 
It just seems like one night they want the worm, one night they want the jig, and usually it flip-flops. The next time you go out or the next couple times you go out, they might want the worm instead of the jig like they did the, the, the time before. So always have some kind of curly tail uh, worm and then some kind of jig. Again, colors. Uh, I talked about a little bit of the moon previously. If you're new to going out at night, night fishing, go out with a little bit more moon in the sky. But as far as colors, you know, there's guys out there that'll wrap their boats in black lights and, and all sorts of things, but we don't do that. We limit the light as much as possible. That's why we have the headlamp. We, we're not shining lights on the water. We're, not, we're trying to be as natural as possible. And the same thing goes for colors. If, if we're fishing, you know, a, a, a full moon night and it's bright out, um, those fish can see it's almost like daytime. So you can go with natural colors. You can go with, um, you know, like the same baits and colors you would throw during the day. Now with that said, now that I'm thinking about it and, and talking about it out loud, um, clear water, water clarity really does come into play at night because think about it. You have no moon, you have murky water, visibility is gonna be almost nothing compared to uh, the daytime. So that's when you really want to go with your contrasty baits, your darkers, your darker colors, uh, you know, your June bugs, your black and blues, your green pumpkins, your natural color baits. On the flip side, if you're fishing a fishery that has clear water, good visibility, and you have a bright moon, you can get away with something more flashy, something with the whites, the silvers, you know, something that imitates a bait fish because those that moon light is gonna be reflecting off of those shad and uh, it's gonna be almost like daytime. So you can go with those more bright shad colors. So baits, typically a jig and a worm. Now, a lot of people will tell you you need a big black and blue 10 inch, 12 inch lizard, something like that. I think what that is based on is, is movement of the bait. You know, the fish, lower visibility, they can, they, can, they can see that movement, they can feel that movement, uh, but I've always had the best luck with a big curly tail worm. Now, just like summer worm fishing, you fire out there, you're fishing it, and you feel that dunk, give them a little bit of time to eat it, and then jack them. What's cool is you can fish this stuff on straight braid. Now, the downside, with that added sensitivity of the braid, the fish can feel you just, if not faster or quicker than you can feel them. Uh, so you gotta be fast on your hook sets, but straight braid, big hook, either Texas rig or big shaky head. That way you're connected to the head of your bait and you're down there, you're feeling that rock. You feel when you get picked up. You know, sometimes they'll absolutely smash it. <clears throat> A lot of times they just suck it in and uh, you just kind of feel that resistance. You gotta reel down and set before they spit it. But <clears throat> one of those two, and that's typically it as far as finesse fishing. Now moving on to the reaction category, uh, that's where the fun is. That uh, throwing your favorite bait, throwing whatever bait for that matter, in the dark is challenging at first. There's gonna be nights where you send that jig 10, 15, 20 feet up on the bank because your depth perception is off. Um, but you'll learn that. You'll The more times you get out on the water, the more comfortable you'll get, the better you'll get with your senses and what's going on. But just know that those fish are up there and they want to eat. They're using that cooler water, that lower light to get up there, sneak around, ambush their prey and eat. So just know that you probably will hit some boat docks you might send some, some baits up into tree branches and stuff. It's just part of it. Um, but throwing reaction baits in the dark is so much fun. Now I'm gonna start with top water. It's a fairly, fairly, um, I'm gonna say small category as far as top water because I like to limit it to uh, straight running wake baits. And what I, what I want out of my nighttime topwater baits, that's a PB rat right there. 
What I want out of my nighttime topwater baits is something that just tracks straight. As these fish are looking up, you know, they're hearing that subtle tick, 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 tick of this rat swimming. They look up, they see that V, you know, it's almost like a path that just leads them right to that bait. It allows them to hone in and track that bait down. Some of the most exciting blow ups you will ever have is on some kind of a wake bait in the dark. You don't know if it's a two pounder or a 10 pounder. They all just grenade a wake bait. You know, I stay away from the, the walking baits. They're moving side to side. Um, it's just harder to work and it just gives uh, more, there's more room for those fish to miss the bait. When you're just running a true straight bait, they, they don't miss it very often. Again, my favorite bait is gonna be uh, that PB Rat, uh, a version of the Rat. Uh, Spro makes a good inexpensive one, but that guy right there is so much fun to throw, especially at night. Um, I mean, I, I'm i going back all the way to like high school time, just fun fishing out on the local lake and throwing uh, wake baits with, with my now wife. Um, just so much fun, you know, five, six, seven, eight pounders just eating a big top water at night is so much fun. Now you guys can see why night fishing is addicting. What's great about summertime is it's the coolest part of the day. So you don't have to go out there. I mean, Matt and I, we've, we've winter fished at night for years and you're all bundled up, you're freezing, you can't feel your hands, your toes are numb, you're wishing that you're back home and then you feel that that dunk and you know add a number another big one to the list is, is what makes it all worth it but summertime it's comfortable out it is comfortable out and uh, bug spray make sure you have bug spray because that can ruin your night real quick but a wake bait don't want to digress too far um, a wake bait is hands down my favorite topwater bait to throw at night now the other baits, I keep it really, really simple. A bottom contact swim bait, boot tail. You know, as you move into the colder months, the colder water, uh, colder weather months, that's when you can switch back over to a wedge style, like a Huddleston, something like that. But a boot tail, something that has a lot of kick, uh, good, heavy, weighted front so you can feel as you're down there dredging those rock piles uh, you know you're, you're bottom ticking you're just creeping this thing down there letting that tail kick back and forth uh, but that that's that burrito right there that is a great bait very versatile resilient uh, good swim bait again you're fishing the same types of stuff you're fishing during the day it might necessarily not necessarily be the same spot but rock piles um, grass lines, if you can go shallow with the top water, you're fishing over the tops of the grass or around docks, that sort of stuff. So you're fishing the same type of stuff you'd be fishing during the day, you're just doing it with a little bit less light. So wake bait, swim bait, and then from there, it's either a deep crank, a swim jig, a spinner bait, or a chatterbait. Now, that's it, that's easy. So I go with my natural colors, my shad colors, bluegill colors, um, I swear, every time blowing up. Probably, I've caught and seen more fish caught, big fish caught on a swim jig than anything at night. Um, Matt has straight done work on, I remember one night I netted which wasn't my night, but it was awesome. I netted three fish over 10, I think a 10 and two 11s um, at night. I mean, just the big fish eat at night, but um, uh, the California swim jig, the reason I like that guy right there, it's got that gaff of a hook. Again, you can get away with straight braid. So gaff of a hook, straight 50 or 65, typically 65 pound test braid. And you're just down there, same thing that you're doing with the swim bait. You're just creeping this thing just enough down there that you're ticking, ticking those rocks. Um, and you some, you'll get some bites on this that you'll never forget. But uh, paired up with either a Kitek 
or that's the gambler, that's the, the big easy. But a Kitech, you know, something that is just real natural, um, unless it's a unless it's a, a bright bright night and clear water, you can get away with maybe some chartreuse or some white. But um, you know, that citrus shad's a really good color. Uh, sexy shad, something with a little bit more chartreuse in it. But these guys right here uh, are my go-tos. The California swim jig paired up with either uh, some kind of Kitech or some kind of paddle tail swim bait. The Big Easy, that thing it just smells like crazy. Um, the, so swim jig's gonna be number one. A chatter bait, if I'm fishing shallower, as soon as I pick up this chatter bait, I'm remembering a fish that I lost. Yeah, I was throwing a chatter bait up shallow and I didn't get bit, well I got bit, I didn't feel the bite, but my blade just stopped vibrating, reeled down into weight and I set, and man, I swear, it's like I hooked a sea lion or something. That fish just owned me. You know, all you can see is the, the splashing and you feel the head shaking, all, you know, the moon is backlit, so you just see the water going everywhere and that fish just owned me, bent me out, and I lost her. Um, yeah, that was on the chatterbait. <laughs> it just, it's just, I get, we've done this for years. I remember one night too with Matt, he threw that, he was throwing a, a swim bait up, throwing a swim bait up on this point, and he gets cracked, he's set, and this fish just owns him from like, it went from like zero to 100 real quick and bent him out on a big swim bait and just heart broke. Tied on another swim bait, threw up there and stuck like an 11 and a half. And that fish came right to the boat. The, these fish, they get up shallow. So what I'm trying to say is if you're fishing shallow, that's when I will go with the chatter bait over the swim jig. I'm kind of going down memory lane here thinking about some of these fish that it's always the fish that you lose that you remember more than the ones you catch, right? It's just like, oh, shoulda, woulda, coulda, or what could have been. But a chatterbait, if you're fishing up shallow, chatterbait's great because you have a lot of feel. Like I said, with the worm and the jig, you want to feel. You know, you and it stops. You either just deflected off something or that bass came up and ate you. Um, hooks extra free, so definitely swing. Um, but a chatterbait, okay? Swim jig, chatterbait. You can throw in a, a, a spinnerbait. We've caught some big ones on spinner baits. Typically, a willow blade. Um, I've had the best luck on on a willow blade at night versus a big Colorado or Indiana blade. Uh, again, it's just it's just preference. I do put a little swim bait trailer on there. You can fish that right in where you would throw the swim jig. Just a little bit different different uh, feel, right? You're feeling those blades turn, so it gives you a little bit more. You're a little bit more connected with your bait throwing that spinner bait, but. Um, I couldn't leave that out because big ones eat that at night as well. Now, last but not least, gonna be the crankbait. Probably one of my funnest nights ever on the water. Dude, scooting. Was throwing a crankbait. It's actually a DD22. This is a Rapala DT20. But um, when you're on there cranking and you're deflecting, it's just something about catching fish on every cast. When they're schooled up, especially at night, and you're just down there hooking a fish, bringing them in, throwing out there, hooking a fish, bringing them in, um, something about that crankbait just really works. So that is my lineup, guys. Um, throwing, you know, topwater obviously is its own deal, right? But I'm always going to have a Texas rig or a shaky head worm, curly tail worm, and a jig, specifically a no jack jig. Um, California swim jig. Just too many big fish have come in the boat at night on that guy right there. Uh, and then the chatter bait and the crank bait. And you can intertwine that that spinner bait in there with the, with the swim jig, but Guys, don't be afraid to get out on the water at night. Like I said, if you're new to it, get out there with that with that full moon. One thing with the moon, I mentioned if you're if you're new to uh, night fishing, go out there on a full moon so you just kind of get accustomed, get used to what it's like to fish at night. But if you are on a clear water fishery, 
typically fish the darker nights, the new moon-ish nights. If you're on a, a murky water fishery, fish the full moon nights, something that has a, you know, a night that has a lot more, um, a lot more light in the sky than the new moon. So hopefully that helps you guys. And then, like I said, clear water, bright moon, go with some, some brighter colors. You can get away with some brighter colors because there is that reflection off the bait fish and uh, the opposite as far as the new moon. Go with that contrasty color, the, the blacks, the green pumpkins, the June bugs, that sort of thing. But guys, don't be afraid to get out on the water this time of year. It is, it's cooler, there's less boats on the water, but remember to be safe. Make sure you have your nav lights on, make sure you have a flashlight or a headlamp, you know, a cell phone, but um, don't be afraid because believe it or not, there is a ton of fish in your fishery that will eat in the dark. Guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notifications, that way you know when we're putting out videos. Uh, but as always, guys, we appreciate you. We'll see you on the next video.